What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So I put up a, a poll on Twitter and I asked you guys which one of my next video to be and y'all voted for an April favorites video so that's what we're gonna do today. And I apologize ahead of time. The quality of this video sucks. I'm using a different camera than I normally would. Uh, that one broke so I just sent out an inquiry to get that one fixed. So Let's just get started. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll start with the fitness related stuff. So we'll start with the supplements. I mentioned this on Instagram twice, but I have been loving it, so I'm throwing it in this video too. It's the apple juice BCAAs by First Form. I've been drinking this every day. Uh, during my workouts, and it just tastes really good, and it smells exactly like apple juice. Not like the sweetened stuff, but like if you imagined what unsweetened applesauce tastes like, if that was like juice, I guess. I don't know. It's good, and BCAAs are really good for you, so I've been loving these this month. Uh, second thing... Since I'm no longer taking Alphamine, my go-to pre-workout is High Volume by PE Science and White Monster because your girl needs caffeine. I still have no energy. <laughs> so yeah, um, Cotton Candy High Volume with the White Monster is probably the best combo, but this was on sale when I got it, so this is the Blue Frost flavor. It's still pretty good. It's kind of, it kind of tastes like a Jolly Rancher, I guess. It gives me plenty of energy before my workouts, and yeah, good pump. You, you can't beat that. So, there's that. Clothes, my favorite. Okay, so, it's really only one brand that I'm going to put in here, and that would be Gymshark. Uh, their whole, well, I guess... Both of their new lines are amazing, and I've been buying from them for a few years now, and they never disappoint, especially right now when most of my leggings are uh, kind of stopping fitting anymore. So I have the Flex version 2 leggings in the pink waistband, and these are so comfy and so stretchy. In my opinion, they're just as good as Lululemon if not better. <laughs> so I've been loving these. I wear them like once a week. And then I have the seamless tank top in, they call it black on the website, but I think it's gray. <laughs> so in gray. So I have the old version of this too, which I really like, but this one, I don't know. There's just something about it. <laughs> it's even better than the old version. And it's super soft, again, super stretchy. And it's not really mesh, but it kind of has, like, I don't know if you can see with this camera, but there's, like, a nice, almost mesh-looking detail on it. Love this. I want to get, like, every single color. And then I also have the Sculpture Shorts. And honestly, I'm really impressed with these. The cut, the V-cut in the front is super flattering, and it has a nice little pocket in the back for your keys or something. I don't know, your phone wouldn't fit in there. But they're really comfortable, really stretchy. They don't ride up, they don't fall down. I have a size extra small in these. And I also ordered the leggings, but I had to exchange those. So those are on their way back to the Gymshark people so I can get a size small because yeah, I couldn't even get the extra small over my thighs. But everything else from them, I have all my shirts from them are smalls, all my sports bras from them are smalls, and then these flex leggings are extra smalls as well. Uh, their leggings just fit me differently. I guess it just depends on, you know, the style. The waistband on the sculpture leggings was a little less movable, which I think is why I couldn't get them over my thighs, so I'm really excited to get those back. <laughs> and yeah, 
Gymshark is just a great brand. I love what they represent. They're just a bunch of driven, hardworking people, so I'm happy to support them and give them all my money. Next, we're going to go into food. And I've got a lot of food favorites <laughs> this month. The first one being popcorn. I eat a bag a day. <laughs> I love popcorn. This is just generic giant brand, 94% fat free. And the macros for a whole bag popped. And this is where it gets tricky. You have to enter the macros into my fitness pal yourself. But the macros for a whole bag pop are, just make sure so I don't get this wrong. So the macros for a whole bag popped are zero fat, 10 and a half carbs, and zero protein. And that's like three servings of popcorn. So macro hack, if you want carbs, if you want volume, eat popcorn. The next thing I also mentioned on Instagram, the strawberry shortcake Oreos. I am obsessed with these. <laughs> I have literally one left, one cookie left, and I'm kind of saving it because I'm going to be really sad when it's gone. We don't have these at where I live in Pennsylvania right now. Um, and from what I've heard, they're exclusive to Walmart. And I've checked like every Walmart around us and they do not have them. So if you don't live in Pennsylvania, I guess you can probably find these and enjoy them. But they smell exactly like I imagine strawberry shortcake would taste. If that makes sense. They're just, I don't know, they're really good. They're sweet, but not too sweet. And perfect on top of waffles or by themselves or the cookie theme. I've really been liking these Icon Meals Oatmeal Raisin cookies. Uh, these are not going to be an everyday thing because shipping is insane. <laughs> but, I don't know, even, I know some people are kind of like upset that the macros changed, but I still think they're worth it. I mean, they're really good. They're not, at least this flavor anyway, I don't like chocolate so I haven't had the chocolate ones. I don't think they're too dry, and I think it does taste like an oatmeal raisin cookie. The macros are 11 fat, 35 carbs, and 14 protein. So, I mean, that's not that bad. Like, I mean, if you're on prep, then I guess, yeah, that's kind of bad. It's almost similar to a Lenny and Larry's cookie at this point, but, I mean, the cookies are still pretty big, and... I don't know, I like them. Dip them in milk if you think they're too dry, like, they're good. So, I've been eating Lenny and Larry's cookies for a while, but I've been really obsessed with them this month, mostly because I think our gym <laughs> started carrying them, so now, like, after every workout, Kevin will get a cookie, or I'll get a cookie, and... Yeah, I've been eating these a lot more than I probably should. But, you know, no regrets. I'm not prepping. So, this is the birthday cake flavor, but my favorite flavors, in no particular order, are birthday cake, snickerdoodle, lemon poppy seed, peanut butter, basically anything that's not chocolate. I might have this later. I'm not sure yet. So, then my last food favorite is something that I found at Target. It's chia powder. Uh, serving size is 12 grams, so two tablespoons. And the macros are 3 grams of fat, 5 grams of carbs, and 3 grams of protein. The reason I like this so much is because it's a good source of fiber. There's 4 grams of fiber. It's also got omega-3s and a bunch of other vitamins and minerals that you need in your diet. So I like to mix this with oatmeal, or last night I put it in waffle batter. Uh, it kind of has like a nutty taste to it, so whatever you put it in takes on that taste, and it's almost like you put almonds or something in whatever you're eating. It, it doesn't taste bad. It's a different taste, but it, it's good. And I don't know if I can show you what it looks like. It just kind of looks like that. 
but you can find it at Target if you want to give it a try. Just Organic Chia Powder by Aztec Superfood, or wait, no, Navita's Naturals. So yeah, Target. So I guess we will do some music favorites. Um, you guys may or may not know I love country music, so that's mostly what this is going to be. I just got this song the other day, but I've been listening to it pretty much all month since it's come out. Uh, it's by David Nail. It's called Nights on Fire. Another one of my favorite songs right now is Flatliner by Cole Swindell and Dirk Spentley. And then, this is not country, but I really do love this song, so you guys probably will know what it is when I start playing it. a good uh, country music radio station to listen to on Spotify. I really like the station called New Boots. It's basically like a bunch of new artists in country music and or new songs by like people who've been out for a while. There's one on here from Carrie Underwood, Chase Bryant, I know I saw Florida Georgia Line, but then there's also people like the Cadillac 3, uh, somebody called, somebody named Drake White, I've never heard of him, Ryan Kinder, it's just a really good playlist if you want new music and not like the same old stuff you hear on the radio all the time. So that's it for music favorites and yeah, I guess that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Realize Probably not too exciting, but <laughs> I've been trying to keep myself from shopping, so that means I keep myself in the house. Saving for baby. Okay, anyway, that's it guys. I will see you in the next one. I hope you have a great day. Bye.